What's going on guys, Seth the Chevy here for TLG Reacts, doing a reaction video to the Nintendo Direct Mini that happened on the 26th, uh, as of recording it's the 27th, so uh, we missed this yesterday, well we saved it to watch, um, we'll actually be going into this blind for the most part, we know a couple things yeah. that were shown in it, but we haven't watched any of it, um, I am excited to see Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, that is a game that I've played a little bit on the fucking um the ds uh but uh or 3ds but um it's something i would definitely prefer to play on a console agreed something uh more robust maybe um other than that though i don't know what else they showed so uh yeah i'm excited to see that though anything you want to say before we watch this um this is just kind of gonna be refreshing i think <laughs> Compared to everything that's going on? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. So. That's one, one of the reasons I didn't even know this happened, then you said something, and I was like, yeah, we should probably make a video on that. We should probably we should probably have fun with something. So, Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, anything you're looking forward to? Anything you're excited for? Um, there's a Sega game in here that I'm curious about, and we never owned a Saturn, so. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I'm excited. <laughs> um... All right, well, let's just jump into it. This is about 30 minutes long, so, uh, okay. yeah. Uh, three, two, one, and go. I like how they call it a mini, and it's half 30 hour. minutes? See, this shit's fucking everywhere. It has to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Long ago, two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. As far as I know, the two games are loosely, battle. loosely connected, but they're not really. Mm, which okay. is interesting. Because I've been playing the second one for a while and I fucking love it. Only their lifeless corpses remained. And since playing that, I've been wanting to play this. Yeah, this kind of works out for me because I haven't touched the second one, so I can just play the first one first. Well, they're not really connected, really, so... I mean, there's a couple things loosely connected, but... That's... Very clean up. It looks good, yeah. It reminds me of two. Graphically. Probably using the same... Engine. only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn. That's no, it's pretty okay. good. Man. Uh, yeah, Silk. I'm definitely fucking buying this. There was something strange. Man, people are getting it was really as if I could see at, uh, into the future. Remastering things. Oh yeah. I was like, we'll be we talking about it, but Shadow of the Colossus. The first thing I noticed was the graphics were fucking fantastic. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. That's crazy. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. Oh, I'm so stoked. You gotta play you gotta play the second one. It's so fucking good. It isn't set. So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. I'm glad the music's similar too. It's probably the same person, but the music in in the second one is so fucking good. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. If I'm not mistaken, and I welcome someone to educate me on it, but I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who worked on the Xeno titles that were on, or owned by... Oh, I'll, I'll fucking, I'll confirm exactly what you're saying. That's exactly what it is. I was telling you that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, okay. The, it's uh, Xeno, Xeno Saga. Back on PlayStation 2. Yeah, and then Xeno uh, Gears before that. Yep. So... If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade yeah, Chronicles Definitive it. Edition. Did on Nintendo so Switch, the game well, looks I mean, better I and plays would smoother be more than inclined ever <laughs> That's the, that's the thing, man. Fucking watching this, I'm excited for it. But, uh... 
Everything looks so different, but similar. And some um, of the music has been re-recorded. Now nice. you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. Uh, I love the characters and so much epilogue. in the other game. The fucking story. idea of playing this Future without them almost bums me out. Oh. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably I don't know, Shulk. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th, and you can pre-purchase the game starting today. Also, coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. That's a cool box. It's a lot of pages. Nintendo good at selling Hi, cardboard. Everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct <laughs> Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Sure. Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Because Switch is just catching up with all the games that came out that Wii U couldn't have. Oh, okay. Nice. Borderlands would be a cool game to have on Switch because that's a game that you can just keep fucking playing and playing and play. I just... <laughs> Stairs? <laughs> no! I just think it's great that the, the library for the Switch is just... Great? Yeah, it's just constantly growing all the time. Uh, even like A lot of these games obviously are older, but like now they're portable for console gamers. Uh, I don't know, it's great. I also, a lot of, I see a lot of people like pair them up with their, their PCs too. You see a lot, of, especially like on, on Reddit, like on uh, our battle stations, for example, it'd be like their computer sitting there and then there's a little Switch port there as well. I have a sec, I have two fucking ports for uh, Switch. I have one hooked up in my computer for a while, or at least my monitor. Mm. So that collection, you get all three Borderlands. Old enemies face off in a new trailer. Why didn't they deal with the fucking the last Ultimate thing? Alliance Three: The Black Order Expansion Pass. Damn, that is a bearded dude. You so-called heroes. I still don't play that. Me either. Good to see they're supporting it though. You are no match for Doom's power. Richards. Talk about a hot pursuit. We're not going down without a fight. I don't care about the Fantastic we have Four. A universe to save. I don't either, but you know. I'm sure like hardcore like comic book fans probably love them, but like I just always thought they were kind of like way too old school. It could be fun to play a game, though. Sure. <laughs> I just think they're all kind of dorks. Like, every single one of them. Doom must them add-ons. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> you are the last of the human race. It's quite the turn. Forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. You're the last? In this deep sea exploration game. It's a really fun game. Resources to upgrade your gear. That was very Craft cool. items right the and dive deeper into the abyss. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. I'm not playing And if that's this. not challenging yeah, enough. Either. Shinsuke it does look time neat, attack mode, another dive boasts but I can a see myself being frustrated with this. Through, I'm frustrated with watching it. I mean, I'm sure it's great, but fucking... You no, know, it can get pretty heavy down there. So why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. Damn. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches this on Nintendo big Switch steps. today. It's a little baby. 
Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free update. Nice. Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Yes, though my island's well, not that Well, you're already built. living it up on the island. So I'm in the Discord was like, I heard, There's an I heard the new Animal Crossing and shit. Spill the beans, er, it's like, from the who? Eggs. You see, after downloading the free update, yeah, we made available I haven't heard that launch. anywhere. <laughs> One zipper tea bunny yeah. <laughs> will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day Damn. in early April. Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? That's cool they're doing events. Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The That's Bunny Day cool. event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll hmm. usher in some newly added That's cool to see them doing something like that with a game like that. Of course. Yeah. We'll continue to bring you the latest on updates. I mean, if you're playing it without time Animal Crossing skipping. Twitter account and other it's channels a too. Game you so, kind of have to tuned. play for a year to get everything anyways. Mm -hmm. Min like minimum. We hope you enjoy so. the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey, look. Someone's hiring. <laughs> That's probably oh, good. This is your dad's company? Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain uh, a comfortable work environment. First, I was like, eh, fuck this game, but now I'm like, eh, it's kind of They are trusting thing. you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Damn. <laughs> uh oh. That projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more Damn, creative knock solutions, people over shit. do what you need to do Damn. to get the job done. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like this. It looks fun. Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to <laughs> That's work. That's crazy how much you can fucking destroy. Because good job launches. It's today. literally called good job. Nice. That's out now. Catherine, full body, the mature action adventure puzzler, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine, Catherine with a C, and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, I need to try that game. Better time I look at it. Everything about it, I think, is really neat, except for I don't like puzzle games. The gameplay part. Yeah, the yeah. gameplay part. I'm like, I don't know, man. But everything else is cool looking. I love the art style. I love that it's like really story heavy. Damn. Mix things uh. up with the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks okay. in the rhythm this game. This is cool. It's cool they're doing something with it. We're talking it. music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On that top chick's of that, just fucking wrecking this. <laughs> Like, this shit's easy. She plays that like people play Doom Eternal. Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. Oh, okay. That's this free cool. update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available awesome. today. Damn, they're just throwing everything out today. If you haven't played Ring Fit, it's open a the lot gates, of fun. One treasured TRPG approaches. 
Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army, straight up. sending the player on a quest around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across like the land, save. you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Hmm. This looks like Kingdom Hearts. Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate News approaches. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Joining the battle from ARMS. I'm surprised they're not already this in it. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next fighter will be announced and released this June. Hmm. Don't miss this arms game trial. A free game this trial of arms will be available exclusively cool. to Nintendo I wanted to try that game. online members. These elite fighting superstars share mm. one thing you in have common: to pay for the online extendable arms. Yeah. So oh, equip super shit. power arms to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. It's interesting to see Nintendo adopt a program like that. Feeling good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Oh shit! I heard the demos out for this. Uh, where? Like where? The first am one a little I? bit. And it was really me. Can't believe I survived. Damn, him chibi. <laughs> they all are. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The great stone's power cool. exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, the first one's supposed to be death, amazing. I... Disaster, calamity, and I don't light. Have me in my life. <laughs> Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. I don't know if you need to play the, the first one to play this one. Who swear the details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. Although I'm pretty sure it was a demo that came this out. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty time. kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, Washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Uh -huh. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a <laughs> princess hero. who was forced yeah. to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. Damn. That guy's he hair, also man. encounters two travelers determined to decipher a mysterious and magical book, Elvis and Adele. I have a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. As if guided by fate, I'm our so heroes pissed. join forces and set off together on a grand mission, each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way, those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Okay, let's do this. I shall steal it all! Every last treasure in the Empire! During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to victory lies in knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. 
<laughs> Choose default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. That's cool. Jobs job can system. be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. So you get to make now whatever you want. For a little announcement. It's pretty cool. A demo version of the game will launch today. And in the that. near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. I hate it. Well, get rid of it. The latest entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Yeah, yeah. That looks cool. Looks cool, yeah. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. Okay. The Switch has become my fucking from around the RPG world console. Together on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, Presidents. You think fucking Dominoes, big board game speed, companies, fucking Hasbro and shit, are gonna take this fucking lightly? Four in a row. <laughs> like, Chess, wait, we can't charge fucking 10, 20 Asia, bucks for each of these games now? Richie no. Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Jesus. Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese checkers. Yacht this dice, is the perfect game for not leaving your house now. Hex, spider solitaire. Just sit here and play all the games. Racking, bowling, shooting gallery, slot Damn, cards, was... dots and boxes, hit and blow, pig Jesus sale, Christ. mahjong solitaire, last card, fishing, Klondike solitaire, toy tennis, toy soccer, toy curling, toy boxing, toy baseball, battle Why tanks, you not have team this? tanks, sliding puzzle, and six ball puzzle. Phew, that really That's is it? 51 games. That's and insane. there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local cool. wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. I, I Two would never find myself interested in like that, but that's so many fucking random play. games. <laughs> play to your heart's content against rivals the world I'm just kind of over. impressed. Yeah. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th, pre purchase begins today. Yeah, I'm gonna pre order that. <laughs> Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. <laughs> what this? By Damn, they're ninja fucking gum, hitting you each can other. dash at high speeds. Disguise yourself. This kind of looks neat too. And wield an arsenal. It's competitive. Skills. It's super clean. And speaking looking. of arsenals, yeah. from heady hitting hammers to Is fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo yo's, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between dying and of a cartoony and version of fucking Ninja Bleeding Edge. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four on four team battles that prove ninjas cartoony. are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? I love the visual style. Or prove you're the Almost master. none of these people are fucking ninjas, ninjas outside of that guy. Nintendo <laughs> Switch, May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Hmm, interesting. It's pretty good Check looking for free to play. you can play on Nintendo Switch. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, this play isn't a canon, role in dog. the Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Wait, Nintendo Switch today. Wait, it has Switch the online? Today. Yep. And get ready to strap in I thought that came Star out without Wars the fucking Episode online component. Racer is coming soon. In this remade dragon riding classic, you'll pilot the blue dragon through incredible landscapes. 
battling giant creatures and lethal battleships. Using 360 degree controls and lock on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. That's one of those games fucking a lot of people didn't get to play. There's yeah. a lot more but it's been so Nintendo long now, Switch. I don't know if it even matters. Furry game. Trials of Mana. It's fun. And Seesaw. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Ew. A mobile game? Big surprise. I forgot the game even fucking existed. I don't even know what that is. That? Really? That's going on Switch? Looks like it. I don't even have a PS4 yet, unless it is now. I don't know. I played on Xbox when I was in early beta. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. <laughs> I don't care about him. Oh. <laughs> he got wrecked. Oh yeah. I was curious about that one. For some reason I thought it was an exclusive. Yeah, I'm kinda curious about it too. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over is it? yet. Oh. This is our last damn. news of the day. Now for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Whoa. Man, so With an expansion game. pass, the world of the I was Pokemon Sword it. and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. I mean, what's wrong with It's a with new it? adventure to embark on, with new people well, to meet along the way. With the expansion way. pass, Today we have some following adding information all those Pokemon, about but the decks the wasn't Isle of complete. Armor. That's fucking lame. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon... Cub Fu, from the Master. Whoa, Mustard. shit! Cub Fu? Cub Fu? You will receive permission oh my to god. The towers of two <laughs> I love Cub Fu. Isle of Armor. <laughs> I've In never fucking challenge, heard of that you thing. You will enter one of two towers. The Tower of Darkness, or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. I want Cub Fu! Once you conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into I don't want Urshifu. that. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike Style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn rapid strike style. Dark, I don't like when the Pokemon turn into fucking humanoid things. Cause it's like, how, how come those haven't evolved Beyond to a point where they have their own the society? Form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, yeah. will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, this is too let's wild. take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. Up there fucking These the moves clock are tower. <laughs> than Dynamax moves. And when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, that guy's a goddamn hoodlum. New league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Can't trust that now kid. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part One: The Isle of Fuck Armor. Fuck the other thing. Cup the, the, the shit. It's my favorite. Also, for those of you who purchased the expansion pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. They look like assholes. Why are they dressed like today, that? During max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Jesus. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. 
They went too That's far. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. Kapu. I'm so upset. <laughs> um. Ionis. All right. What do we think? Um. That was a lot of stuff in 30 minutes. Yeah, that, that flew by. Uh, I. I'm just thoroughly impressed with the support they're giving the system, man. Especially after the the Wii U it's got like nothing. The Wii U never happened. So. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, we were kind of saying it as we were going, but, like, most of the stuff I have at least a, a soft, small interest in. Mm -hmm. um, and I love just seeing, like, a lot of the announcements were just like, hey, this game that exists, it's not dead yet. Yeah. So, um, glad to see that. I'm also glad to see, like, a bunch of uh, varied types of games. Like, you're getting... You know, more mature type games like your, your Borderlands or um, what was that other one? I can't remember now. By Bohemian. Uh, Vigor? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Vigor, however the fuck they say it. And then, you know, your staples like Kung your, Fu. your Animal Crossing and your Pokemon and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. I, I think it's really hard to, to not be excited for Nintendo. So, they have a lot of a lot of stuff on this system and exclusives i'm yeah, i'm here for it man it's awesome yeah um pretty much everything that was shown here almost everything i want uh xenoblade chronicles really fucking excited for that anyone who's been following the channel knows that i'm a big fan of xenoblade chronicles too still need to beat it but it's a hefty game i think i'm like 50 hours into it i think it's like a 60 to 80 hour game um but it's fantastic it's probably one of my top i want to say five jrpgs of the last like fucking i don't know five ten years Ooh. um but uh top 10 easily easily but i have to think about that before i make that but it's it's one of my favorites it, one of the reasons is uh the story's really good the gameplay is really fun but like the characters i like the characters a lot to the point where, like I was saying before, just like if you watch an anime or anything that you spend a lot of time with, mm -hmm. you start really liking the characters, and then if it ends, you're just like, that sucks. Right. I don't got any more of them anymore. So that's one of those rare games where I actually like everyone in it. So the idea of being able to play the other one uh, with these graphics that we're seeing here um, is really fucking exciting. Um, like I said, I love everything about that game. This game reminds me of that. Um, it is updated from the original version graphically. You can still tell in the way they move. It seems a little stiff, but uh, everything looks really clean and nice. So this is a, like a first day buy for me. Um, the Smash Bros. stuff is exciting for Smash Bros. people. I, yeah, I like it more than you do, but I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah. But I think it's cool that they keep revealing new characters. Kind of reminds me of like Soul Calibur and other games uh, where they reveal new additions uh, that, more and more. That balancing act must be fucking awful for the devs though sure uh the 2k games i'm glad to see that support i'm not i'm not picking them up um i've played the fuck out of all those games <laughs> for sure um although i'm glad people on switch if they didn't get a chance to uh find the frustration in the percentages in xcom 2 they'll get to now uh it'll be like 98 percent chance you're gonna hit this guy at point blank range and then you miss him and it's like i'm really good at rolling that fucking two percent for some reason <laughs> it happens a lot uh i i still want to try this game but i, I don't want to buy it so i mean that's yeah it's tricky yeah so which sounds fucking stupid but like but the addition's cool i'm glad to see they're they're supporting it um not with shit i care about i'm not a big fantastic four fan but uh you know they showed other things this shin sekai uh sekai uh into the depths it looks neat for somebody, not for me. Yeah. Um, Animal Crossing, I love the doing events. This game was a, a surprise for me, because when we first saw it, uh, Good Job, that's yeah. what it's called, Good Jib. Um, <laughs> for anyone in the Discord, link down below. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, 
when I first saw it, I was like, eh, I'm not going to play that shit. Now I'm like, eh, it looks kind of neat. I like the... I like the goofiness of it, which is pretty cool. For sure. Uh, Catherine, in one way or another, on one of the consoles since it's coming out for everything, at some point, I'm pretty sure I'll play this game. There's a demo on PS4. Yeah. Because this is a game that, like, I had the chance to play back in the day. I didn't do it. So, like, I don't like puzzle games, but it looks cool. And then it, it came out again on, like, modern consoles. Like, hey, this is the chance this game needed to maybe get a wider audience. I still didn't play it. Now it's coming to Switch. I'm like... That always looks really cool to me. Still don't know if I'm going to play it, but I want to because I, I think it... I, I just love the art style. I love that story-oriented. It's just the gameplay, man. I just don't give a fuck. But maybe I'll play and go, eh, it's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, I like to see that Ring Fit is getting... Um, or the ring thing here. Ring Fit. Uh, yeah, is um, is getting support. Really cool to see. King's Bounty 2, I'd have to see a review or something on because it looks kind of generic, but it's tactical, so it's interesting. Um, Bravely Default 2, I'm going to download that demo right now. As soon as we're done filming, I'm going to download it, so I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But uh, this looks really cool to me. Um, you know, seems kind of like a minimal RPG. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a super deep experience, but it looks like it's going to be fun for sure. Um, I never played the first one, but I heard I a lot of really good things. Big ass game, is it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not like that one small JRPG that came out a while ago. No, I have Setsuna. It's a full fledged RPG. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Well, fuck. Never mind. I take it back. This game, I'm more interested than I should be. <laughs> There's just so much there. <laughs> like when they named off the first six, I'm like, ah, it's an easy one. Of those games you get like on your phone or something like that right, when right. you're bored or whatever. But then they named off fucking fifty one, seven hundred things, and I was just like. <laughs> Well, fucking, I almost feel like I owe them money for the effort they put in just <laughs> stealing money from Hasbro and fucking uh, every other company that makes goddamn board games. A lot of these I didn't even know you fucking could, could make a game of. I thought somebody owned this shit. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of neat. That'd be a, like a, that, like I said, kind of like with your phone, like that'd be a, like, you got your Switch with you, you're going around or whatever, you're playing Bravely Default 2 or something, and then... You're waiting for something. You're with your friends. You're like, oh, let's play Man Call real quick. And you just, like, it, it's the perfect like accessory game to have uh, in there. Which, I mean, I'm overhyping this. It's not. It's not that big a deal. But I'm like, 51 games. What? Everyone who watched the channel knows I fucking yeah, I'm easy to sell on a game. So I'm like, look at the value. Watch it be 20 bucks, dude. 20 bucks. I'm buying it. <laughs> I mean, look at this shit. There, there was like 3D fucking bowling and shit. There's darts. pool. There's fucking darts. There's also like... And all this shit, everyone knows how to play. So it's just like perfect. It's mm. a perfect like party game. Um, this looks a lot more interesting than I thought I was going to look. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Ninjala? Yeah, I think so. Ninjala. Um, I mean, it looks interesting. It's going to be free to play. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I'll definitely try it out. Kind of gives me vibes like uh, that old game you used to play where like... You ran up walls and, and fought each other and stuff like that. Uh, Guns? K-style. Guns, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking K-style. People get pissed if you weren't doing K-style. <laughs> I'd kill dudes doing K-style, and they're like, you don't know K-style. I'm like, I didn't do shit for you. <laughs> Gives a fuck. I don't care that you're just jumping left and right while swinging, while coming at me. It fucking didn't do anything. I think some people, because there's some people legit knew I do K-style. And they'd fucking be, like, off the walls everywhere, just killing everyone. And there's other people just, like, mimicking the movements, but they didn't know what they were doing. Mm. It's, it's stupid. That, that was even a thing. It was like a martial art. Um, yeah, kind of kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, yeah, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. I swear that came out on another console. I swear it only had the single player. But this has 16-player fucking multiplayer. That's awesome. Although, put that out on PC, unless it's... Unless those servers... You, well, it's probably dedicated. It's such an old game. I don't know. I miss those games. Someone probably has to host, yeah. I miss those games. Um, Panzer Dragoon Remake. It's it's neat to see because that was like one of those fucking like rare games back in the day before digital downloads of games. Like mm -hmm. You couldn't get your fucking hands on it. So it's kind of cool to see. But at the same time, I never was really into like track shooters like this all too much. But I'd be curious to see someone else play it maybe for like five seconds. As much yeah, as I hate I, watching someone else play games, I kind of hope it hope it opens the door to the role playing games that are uh, that were on Saturn, the Panzer Dragoon ones. That'd be cool because those are supposed to be really good, but like didn't have Saturn. So, so this one's interesting, Vigor because or Vigor because um the demo came out or the beta came out on Xbox, and it's kind of a neat idea. 
it kind of reminds me because maybe the same people make Arma and Daisy, uh, Bohemian Interactive. Um, and I love those guys. Uh, so this definitely takes a lot of the things that they, they use in their games already. Tactical stuff, laying down, crouching, resource gathering type shit in some sen sense of like Daisy and stuff. But it's weird because in this game you have a house and you're trying to upgrade your house because you're surviving and then you go on these missions and other people are also going on the same mission in the same area and you load into a drop point and you can leave it anytime you want, but you're looking for stuff. You're okay. scavenging, but you can run to other players. So it's the who, dark zone. Who can, 100%. And people just kill you and take your shit or vice versa. So a lot, when I was playing, I was like sneaking around grabbing stuff and I snuck away without anyone seeing me. Um, but when I was playing on Xbox, I'm like, I... I want to play this on PC. I think it'd be a lot better because I was like trying to aim at people with the fucking Xbox controller and it just was not working for me. Um, but to see that coming out on the Switch is impressive. They're they're really going to be working some magic because the engine they're using, um, I never thought would be friendly to a Nintendo product or a console. So, and then a lot of the stuff, Drill Dude, fucking I don't give a shit about him. Um, I wish. I wish I was hearing good things about Pokemon, because I love Cub Fu. I only just met him, but I love him. I've, I've heard good things about, like, the game itself. Like the It looks awesome. It's supposed to be a lot of fun. Except for these asshole outfits. I just am bummed out by the way they handled it. But that's just a personal gripe. I know plenty of people who picked this game up. Like, these guys are like, you, <laughs> bro, do you even play lacrosse, bro? My parents paid for me to get into college, bro. Yeah, Pokemon's always had weird style. The rest of it's fine. These guys are just pricks. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, overall, I really like this Nintendo Direct. I think it's a really good one. I think they showed off a lot of cool stuff. I love that they were like, this is out now. This is out now. This is out now. Here's a demo. Here's a demo. Yeah. All this shit. Buy 51 games. They did emphasize this is all stuff supposed to come out this year, so. Yeah, so. Um, and especially right now with like news and gaming being fucking like put on pause. It's so nice to see Nintendo go like, hey, here's some fucking shit to be excited about, and here's some stuff to fucking interact with. Yeah. So, really welcomed uh, right now. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I liked it a lot. I'd give it a B plus. Yeah. Yeah, B plus. Sounds right. No big bangers here, but it's all good shit. I don't know. There's a couple of pretty big bangers in there, but <laughs> sure. But it's like support for big bangers. They already exist. And then bravely default too, which I haven't played yet, so I don't know. And you know, that's the biggest banger for me. <laughs> so, but then you know, Mancala and shit and Fifty One Games. That's awesome. That ain't fucking a territory. Sure. And all this weird drill man bullshit lacrosse fucking team. Saints Row fucking being out on everything ever constantly. It's Skyrim 2. Jesus Christ. <laughs> get over it. The only game that got away with that the, that went under my radar when it came to being out on everything constantly. Just like, oh, no matter where the fuck you go, this will haunt you for the rest of your life. Fucking Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yeah. But that game's legendary. That can be on calculators and refrigerators. All I don't give a shit. Anyway, anything else you want to say? Uh... No, just like I said, it's it's nice to be able to, to get a bunch of trailers uh, for stuff even just coming out this year. Plus, like I'm playing my Switch a lot right now because of Animal Crossing, so it's already mm -hmm. on my mind. So, good timing. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments, guys. Uh, what do you think of this Nintendo Direct? What is the most exciting thing here for you? What are you looking forward to the most? What kind of wasted your fucking time watching this? We think about those lacrosse outfits. We think about Cub Fu. See your favorite, like me. Um, and yeah, do you have a Switch? Do you not have a Switch? Are you planning on getting one? Are you not interested at all? You're like, I only play Xbox. I only play PC games. PS4, let me know everything you're thinking about in the comments below. And that's going to do it for this TLG Reacts. And, uh, yeah, we've been Seth and Chevy until the next episode. We got Plus Club and Game of the Month coming out this weekend. And I still got to get a Half-Life Alex Impressions video out because I played that shit. And it's fucking amazing. There's my impressions. Um, Spoiler. So, yeah, until the next episode, have a good week, guys. Stay safe and take it easy.